This video explains how to construct a square in Geometer Sketchpad using the compass or circle tool and the straight edge tool. To start, press the fourth button down, which is the straight edge tool, and we're going to end up creating a line segment to start, and it can be of any length. Next, you're going to press the compass or circle tool, which is the third button down, and you're going to create a circle starting at one of the endpoints and extending to the other one. And you're going to repeat those same steps, starting at the other endpoint as your center, and going to our first endpoint. Then we're going to press and hold down the straight edge tool, which is the fourth button down in its bottom right corner, and we're going to select the third option out, which is a line. By default, it's usually a segment. You can always make a ray with the same tool or also a line. We're going to end up wanting a line. And now what we're going to do is to create our line, we're going to start at one of the intersection points of our circle. I'm going to start at the one towards the bottom. And then I'm going to extend it all the way up to the other intersection point of our two circles. And notice we have a nice long line here. Next we're going to select the point tool, which is the second button down. And we're going to create a point where our segment and line intersect. This is the midpoint of our line segment. Then we're going to select the circle or compass tool, which is the third button down, and we're going to start our circle at this midpoint that we just found and extend it to one of our endpoints. Next, what we're going to do in order to avoid some confusion is we're going to hide the items that we don't need, primarily the two extra circles and these two extra points that are the intersection points of our circles. We don't need them anymore, so highlight all of those items and go to Display, Hide Objects. Um, since I'm on a Mac, I could have also just hit Command H. On a PC, it's Control H. What you can see is a circle that has four intersections with the segments or lines. All of these intersections are going to be the vertices of our square that we're going to create. In order to create our square, I'm going to select the straight edge tool, which is the fourth button down. And since we made a line last time, you can see that line is now the default. So I'm going to again press the, the arrow in the bottom right corner. And I'm going to reselect the segment tool. And I'm going to start one of my segments at the end point. And then I'm going to go to where the line and our circle intersect. Then I'm going to start here and do another segment this way. And so on, all the way around. Next, we're going to hide the extra line, segment, and circle that we don't need for our square. So I'm going to select those, and then again go to Display, Hide Objects. Oh, I forgot about this point, so I'm going to also do that one as well. And here we have our square. And we can verify that this is a square by measuring all of the segment lengths and angle measures. So let's do the segments first. If I highlight all four of my segments and then go to the menu option measure lengths, oh, we find out that they are 7.75 each. So, so far it's either a rhombus or a square. And in order to prove that it's a square, we have to prove that all of our angles are right angles. So if I measure each angle and if they're all 90 degrees, then we have verified that it's a square. So first I'm gonna start with C, then through A and then through B. And to measure an angle, you need three points. And go to Measure Angle. And you do need to do them one at a time. So far, I have one right angle. If you repeat going around, go to Measure Angle. And then I'm going to do BDC, Measure Angle. And the last one I have to do is Angle DCA. And go to Measure Angle. And yes, all four of these are 90 degrees, and all four of our sides are 7.75 centimeters. So we have a square. I hope that you found this video helpful, and I hope that you have a great day.